Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim episode. In today's video, we're going to be farming black marble, and you'll also get a bunch of copper. You can do this as soon as you can find one of these and bring a stone cutter here. So, once you've found that, I'm going to leave that to you, you'll need to set up, make sure that you have some safety, because you might die in the process of, you know, clearing it of the dwarves. So we're gonna go and find sort of some terrain that's near a rock, this looks perfect. And we're gonna go right here and start digging. All right. I think this should be good. We have this nice little cranny here. It's hard to see, but you'll understand in a moment. It'll be easier that way. So we'll just put it up here. And then now, we can build the part that really matters, which is our portal. And we're gonna go back into the little hole we dug earlier and find a spot where it's nice and tucked away, but we can still get into it, just like this. There we go, we're gonna change this. Let's test it, see if it works. Boom, look at that. We have our safety portal. And now you can just get rid of this. Don't really need it. That way it won't attract enemies' attention. Right, now that we have our safe spot established, we can come scout out the Dvergers. <laughs> They're so nice and kind. I wish we could keep them alive and trade with them or something. It feels so horrible. I'm glad, at least this way, we indirectly bring about their demise instead of attacking them. It is a human, and I'm, I'm definitely not here trying to scout out how to bring monsters into your home. No, I wouldn't do something so horrible. All right, I've waited around till nighttime. And basically, you just keep walking around until you inevitably spawn something. I, I, this is actually kind of smooth, to be honest, because most of the times that I've been to these places, you... You aggro enemies so reliably that it's actually kind of hard to keep the dwarves alive. All <laughs> right, here we go. Well, that was something found me. It hit me once, but I'm, oh, wow, wow. You see that? They just, like, I mean, it's kind of intense. They can definitely kill the Seekers. Like, this Seeker's gonna die, but they, they lost one of their buddies. And they lost the door. Now, eventually, if we just keep being patient, some more enemies will show up. Usually, it's like two Seekers at a time. Sometimes, oh, oh, okay, Seeker Soldiers. Yeah, there we go. I was just about to say that. Sometimes a Seeker Soldier. Oh, God, those Seeker Soldiers are so strong. And other times, a Zhao. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what shows up, but it looks like this Seeker Soldier might actually have been the end. I mean, you see how quick that happened? Things turned around so fast. Ooh, nice. Uh, and as you can see, after <laughs> two attacks, the, yeah, some, place to, some repairs to this place would not hurt. You got some serious wool problems, man. <laughs> Your wall is a window. Oh god. Alright, I found one. There we go. See you now? <laughs> oh shit, he saw us. <laughs> yeah. I guess I wanted him to see me, but all I have to do now is just come here. And, uh... The Zhao's probably gonna be a problem for me now, so... I would actually recommend you try not to bring the Zhao here, unless there's enough Dverger to definitely kill them. Because as you can see, I don't, I don't really have the, yeah, I can't fight, I can't kill a Zhao right now. But these mages can. Like, you can do this, buddy, come on. We believe in you. You got, ah! <laughs> you got this, buddy. You can do it. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wow. Damn. Oh, I get it. So the Zhao will try and kill me. But I am actually right here. Ah, and the mage will kill the Zhao. Okay, that works out. Because I really don't want the Zhao to be the last thing living. 
And one of the reasons I haven't been fighting is because it, it actually gets a lot harder if you start fighting, because then the Dverger inevitably start trying to kill you. So now I'm hanging out down here in the basement with, with the last Dverger, a mage, and uh... Alright, well, I've decided I'm just gonna wait until daytime, and then the Zhao will probably go away. All right, it looks like we got lucky and that Jal is not here. At least not immediately here and not near our portal. Now, you can see that the deconstruction efforts have sort of already started. There's a bunch of resources everywhere. We have one slight little problem. There's a... There's a fire mage in the basement. It looks like I'm just gonna have to kind of take care of him. I don't know if this is a good idea, but hopefully I have enough stamina. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oof, that looked really grim at first. He had a lot of health at first, but once you stun him, it's all right. Now everything looks ready. We can place our workbench and then also place our stone cutter. If you're having trouble getting the iron, uh, you can actually just bring some Sertling cores through a portal and then smelt the iron, because you can find iron in the mistlands. It's just that the rusted weapons you see. And now that we have all this stuff, we can just go around with our hammer and start sort of deconstructing different elements here. And it's actually not ideal to be in the basement when you're doing this, because everything's going to sort of cave in and disappear, right? So what's actually going to happen is after you make the stone cutter, you just sort of go outside. It can be destroyed with the hammer. And before long, you'll have this first base layer cleared away. And all that's left will be the pillars. Now the pillars are really easy to destroy. Just make sure you don't fall back into the pit because you may have destroyed your ability to get back up. Here's the last pillar. Now we gotta get this. This feels like a boss fight in a game, you know, where you gotta run around and shoot all the glowy parts, like in Zelda. This should crumble, so I'm just gonna keep going around and doing this. Nice, here we go. Finally, everything crumbled. And look at that, by the end of it, you'll have a pit full of all sorts of cool items. And there we have it. It looks like each of these towers will give you 300 black marble. So we also had 28 black marble. We got 51 copper scraps and eight copper bars, which is almost 60 copper. Everything else is pretty basic. So that's how you farm the black metal. If you want to, you can also mine the skulls and the bone parts, but I found that that isn't as fun as going and finding out ways to change the dwarves and take their black marble. They've already mined it for you, after all. Alright everybody, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want any other Valheim content, then subscribe to the channel, because there's new Valheim videos every five days. Also, if you want to support my work, then please consider checking out the dedicated server tutorial so you can play Valheim with your friends. And if there's any ideas that you have for new Valheim farms or content, then please comment below. I love taking video requests and really have fun making videos. So if there's a video you have in mind that you want me to give a, a crack at, then comment and let me know and I'll, I'll give a shot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!